The Manchester Metrolink, branded locally as Metrolink, is a tram light rail system in Greater Manchester, England. The network has 99 stops along 65 miles, 105 kilometres of standard gauge track, making it the most extensive light rail system in the United Kingdom. Metrolink is owned by Transport for Greater Manchester and operated and maintained under contract by a Keolis and May consortium. In 2019-20, 44.3 million passenger journeys were made on the system. The network consists of eight lines which radiate from Manchester City Centre to Termini at Altrinham, Ashton and Deline, Bury, East Didsbury, Eccles, Manchester Airport, Rochdale and Trafford Centre. It consists of a mixture of on-street track shared with other traffic, reserved track sections segregated from other traffic and converted former railway lines. It is operated by a fleet of Bombardier M5000s. A light rail system for Greater Manchester emerged from the failure of the 1970s Pickwick Tunnel Scheme to obtain central government funding. A light rail scheme was proposed in 1982 as the least expensive rail-based transport solution for Manchester City Centre and surrounding Greater Manchester metropolitan area. Government approval was granted in 1988 and the network began operating services between Bury Interchange and Victoria on the 6th of April 1992, becoming the United Kingdom's first modern street running rail system. The 1885 built Blackpool Tramway being the only first generation tram system in the, in the United Kingdom that had survived up until Metrolink's creation. Manchester's first tram age began in 1877 with the first horse-drawn tram from Manchester Suburban Tramways Company. Electric traction was introduced in 1901 and the municipal Manchester Corporation Tramways expanded across the city. By 1930, Manchester's tram network had grown to 163 route miles, making it the third lar largest tram system in the United Kingdom. After World War II, electric trolleybuses and motor buses began to be favoured by the local authorities as a cheaper transport alternative and by 1949 the last Manchester tram line was closed. Trolleybuses were withdrawn from the service in 1966. Greater Manchester's railway network historically suffered from poor north-south connections because Manchester's main railway stations Piccadilly and Victoria were built in the 1840s on peripheral locations outside Manchester city centre. The central commercial district had no rail links and over the years several unsuccessful schemes were proposed to connect Manchester's rail terminal. In the 1960s transport design studies were undertaken to address the problems of increasing traffic congestion. Many urban public transport schemes were evaluated for Manchester including several types of monorail systems and metro style systems. While the monorail schemes were all abandoned, a scheme to create a tunnel link gained momentum. The Selneck Passenger Transport Executive, the body formed in 1969 to improve public transport for Manchester and its surrounding municipalities promoted the Vic Pickwick Tunnel. The project was a proposal to link Piccadilly and Victoria stations via a tunnel under the city centre to enable train services to run across the Manchester conurbation. Greater Manchester County Council inherited the project and presented it to the United Kingdom Government in 1974 but the council failed to secure necessary funding and the project was abandoned in 1977. The Centre Line shuttle bus provided inter interstation links for many Parliamentary authority to proceed with phase one of construction was obtained by two acts of parliament, the Greater Manchester Light Rapid Transit System Act 1988 and the Greater Manchester Light Rapid Transit System No. 2 Act 1988. Phase one, Bury, Altrinum and Manchester City Centre. Beginning in July 1991, the first phase of the Metrolink involved the conversion of two suburban heavy rail lines to, to light rail operation. The Berry victoria line in the northeast and Altrin and Piccadilly line in the south, and the construction of a street level tramway through the city centre to connect the two. Tracks were laid down, uh, <coughs> tracks were laid down along a 1.9 mile, 3.1 kilometre route from Victoria Station via Market Street to the GMEX with a 0.4 mile, 0.64 kilometre branch to Piccadilly Street. Station. This route is now known as the First City Crossing, 1cc, 
and it was built with the network expansion in mind. A fleet of 26 Ansaldo Breda T-68 light rail vehicles was, proposed, was procured to operate the 19.2 mile 30.9 kilometre network. Construction was carried out by the GMA Group, a consortium of Amec, GM Buses, John Molam and Company and GEC, costing £145 million, equivalent to £302 million in 2019. Metrolink was initially scheduled to open in September 1991, but services did not begin until 1992 when the Berry Line opened as far as Victoria on the 6th of April. The first street level trams began running on the 27th of April between Victoria and GMAX, now, De now Deansgate Castlefield. The Altrinum Line opened on the 15th of June and the branch to Piccadilly Station opened on the 20th, <coughs> opened on the 20th of July. Metrolink was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II on the 17th of July 1992.